Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for November 27th, 2019. Hey guys, I've already recorded one video and my software crashed, so I'm gonna record another. It'll be a little bit faster, um, so bear with me. Hey, I wanna wish you all, if you're heading out for holidays or any of that, wanna wish you all a happy, happy, Thanksgiving. Please keep in mind that markets will likely get a little bit soft in volume um, as we get past the morning rush here this morning. But right now we're showing bullishness. The president came out and gave very bullish comments, positive comments on the trade deal. But one thing he also said is that they want to see a democratic outcome in Hong Kong. Um, which many see as a you know an obstacle to getting that deal signed. We'll have to see where that goes. But right now the market has been is responding bullishly. We had good positive price action, uh, mostly bullish price action in Asia last night. And European markets are showing higher this morning as well. So we're looking for a very small move up at the moment here gap up we were looking a little bit better earlier but what happened here here is we had john deere john deere reported earnings and gapping down this morning here on john deere um, looking to open down in here that's having a negative effect on the market kind of threw a wet towel on things overall um, in the chart and so just a little bit of bearishness uh, coming in um, as a result of that report but overall futures are still holding positive and holding up well if we take a look at the spy spy also very very bullishness bullish and we we've had our 10th um, new record high in uh, this month um, uh, yesterday and we're continuing to push that higher this morning so right now bulls are clearly in control there's no signs here yet of any kind of turnaround or failure and we continue to get these bullish comments that kind of pump up the market and we continue to move up now i gotta tell you that i am a little bit concerned how far separated we are from our 50-day moving average and um so cautiousness has to come into play here we don't want to over trade this market but we also don't want to miss out on the opportunities um, in this bull run. So keep that in mind. We may be getting a little bit separated. And one thing to always pay attention to is when we gap up to new record highs or gap up to, to market resistance, we always want to be um, cautious and thinking about the possibility that that gap up could be rejected and we get that uh, pop and drop that's what I call them we pop up in the morning and then no follow through buyers and we end up pushing uh, uh, that back down so keep that in mind we'll watch and wait and see if that's actually going to occur or not I honestly think they're going to push this on through and one of the reasons I think that uh, on higher is because we have a big round of um, news on the economic calendar today that looks like it's going to be very bullish let's take a look at the cues real quick cues also extremely bullish trend is up there's no signs here of turning around we are again maybe getting a little bit extended in this move but very very bullish overall and iwm is actually participating in this market now after breaking this major downtrend looking higher overall in this chart and looking for um, just a tiny little gap up this morning here even in iwm looking to show some bullishness here this morning um, in that index let's take a look at the vix real quick the vix showing no fear no fear at all in this market we just continue to slip lower and lower and lower in the vix i have um a, a, you know several drawings on here and you can see we just continue to break down and there's just no fear in this market now i do worry that that can be a little bit of complacency but as we continue to drift lower um, we'll just have to wait and see if we're going to get any fear coming into this market but so far none whatsoever dropping into 11 and a half wow pretty low in that vix no fear in the market right now let's take a look at t21 
22. Now T21, 22 might give you just a little bit of pause, but let's keep in mind that it still gives us upside possibility. T2122 was one of those very reliable ind indicators. When we get up here in this upper region, you can see I've marked this out between 90 and 100 and down here between 10 and zero. When we are down in this area between 10 and zero, we tend to rally up. We've been oversold and we tend to rally up. When we're way up here in this indicator um, to, the, uh, to the top side, we tend to find a pullback in the market and we're getting close to that we rallied up strongly here we had a little teeny tiny pullback yesterday but that means we still have upside opportunity in this chart so we could get that inspiration in these economic reports this morning fire on up and go higher there's no clues in the price action that suggests we must go lower but we are starting to reach up here in that area where we may be a little bit stretched on this run and just need a little relaxation um, we could it could happen in a pullback it could also happen in a consolidation keep in mind that a consolidation can actually move t21 22 lower so keep that um, in the back of your mind as we're watching um, this bull run just continue to stretch out setting new record highs day after day after day let's take a look um, at our economic calendar and our economic calendar has a few things to say about what is going to happen today. Let me see if I can get that back here. And you can see in our economic calendar, it's a busy day today because we've collapsed both Wednesday and Thursday together. So we're going to, we've already had mortgage applications this morning. They were very, very strong, showing uh, mortgage applications really going up uh, with the lowered rates that we have out there. And um, we have uh, durable goods, GDP, jobless claims, all coming in here at 8.30 this morning. Follow by PMI, personal incomes and outlays. Now, looking at the consensus estimates on these, I don't see anything in here that would suggest that we're gonna get a big negative surprise. So what that means is these consensus uh, reports could actually report um, strong enough to give us that bullish inspiration to move higher yet this morning. So watch that close. They look to be pretty darn positive um, at the moment. We'll have to wait and see. I think it would have to be a pretty substantial surprise to really move us lower. Now, I kind of suspect after this point in time in the day, we're gonna see volume really drop dramatically in the market. We could go into kind of a sideways move, but there are still some things on the market. I just don't expect them to really move the market a lot. We have pending home sales, we have EIA, uh, petroleum status, natural gas, and a beige book. And I would suspect what's going to happen is those trading floors and in the institutions are going to start clearing out very, very quickly, and even retail traders packing up and heading out for their holiday plans. So keep that in mind. We could see a little bit of lack of volume this afternoon, and that really could exist um, all the way into Friday, by the way, because Friday we will be open for a short session. And I want to remind everyone that um, Hit and Run Candlesticks and Right Way Options will be closed both Thursday and Friday. There will not be a morning market prep video on Friday. This will be a very short session, likely very low volume, um, probably very algorithmic driven. So be really careful if you do decide to come in and trade that. But we will be back back on the following Monday on Monday, December 2nd, and be right back to work. Alrighty. So let's take a look at a few charts that could be setting up. But before we do that, if um, you would permit me just a second here to, to say, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, um, please do me a favor, click the subscribe button and also click that bell icon when it pops up so you can be notified every time I post one of these videos. The purpose of these videos are not to predict anything that will look at the technicals of the chart. They're not to provide hype. They're not to provide prediction of direction. They are help um, 
the purpose of these videos is to help you focus in that nice calm focus on the price action and the technicals of the chart to determine how you want to approach the market for the day if you find that helpful please click that thumbs up button and also leave a brief comment and by the way always feel free to um, ask questions provide suggestions and things like that for these videos i'd love to hear from you guys and and by the way some of your comments are so incredibly humbling i truly truly appreciate that you guys are the best thank you very much so with that, let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for today. And keep in mind that we're going to see volumes dropping very, very quickly. These may be um, more of a watch list kind of stock, but kind of keep that in mind um, as you uh, think about trading today. And remember, none of these stocks that I show in these videos uh, have, uh, are, are, they're just no recommendation to buy or sell any security. They're up here for your evaluation um, and for you to take a look at, maybe set up a potential trade, but make sure you evaluate that on your rules and your conditions. It's not a re recommendation for me to buy or sell any of these uh, stocks. Let's take a look at a few of these that are setting up and maybe looking pretty good. Take a look at Schlumberger. Schlumberger um, has been rallying up here lately and I'm seeing this. Um, you might also want to take a look at Halliburton. Schlumberger rallying up, holding in this trend, moving on up. We're trying to break through that resistance in the chart. So any rest consolidation over here toward the trend, I would be watching that chart for more of an upside move and same thing with that Halliburton um, Halliburton looking pretty darn good breaking its overall downtrend holding this trend up we're holding it as support watch this in here if this can hold that opportunity that that could turn and move on higher so keep an eye on those they're looking pretty good and we have that petroleum status report today if those numbers come in positive for oil um, we could see um, these start to respond higher. So watch those closely. Um, you've heard me talk about Oracle here lately. And Oracle, I've placed a price alert here on the chart. I'm watching this as it's trying to deal with this resistance area in the chart. And you can see we have this nice little trend going up here. Now this may continue to consolidate, move over toward its trend, but I'm going to be watching this for the possibility of that new move, that pop out um, um, in that chart. So keep an eye on that closely. Take a look at some of the financial sector stocks. JP Morgan, Morgan Stanley, um, Bank of America, Citibank, um, Key Bank, um, all of these uh, financial institutions looking very, very strong, holding nice upward trends, breaking through resistance levels, looking very, very good. So watch this for that opportunity that that could move on higher. We'll wanna keep an eye on it, looking very, very strong, very, very good overall. Take a look at Microsoft. Microsoft has been very, very strong here. We had this nice little resting pullback in here and that is continuing to fire on higher, looking very, very good. I'm not suggesting that you wanna chase this after two, two nice days move up, but maybe just wait for that next consolidation, that next rest for that opportunity into the trade. Microsoft, very, very strong. They had good earnings this year or this quarter, um, looking very, very good and looking higher. Take a look at GE. Now, GE had kind of a bad day yesterday, turning a little bit south here, but GE has been moving up nicely, and I want to keep an eye on this, breaking above that resistance area in the chart. Now we have to wait and see if it can hold it as support. If I take a look at a trend, and you could draw this trend in several different ways, this may still have to dance around, consolidate over this way before this has an opportunity to go. But let's keep an eye on it. It's it's held up pretty, pretty well overall. Um, we don't want to see this really starting to break down this support area. That would kind of toss it off the list, but keep an eye on that chart. How about MLNX? MLNX, I've been mentioning here for quite some time. MLNX holding up very, very well. 
nice and strong in this chart. Still testing this major resistance level that we need to break through. Had a kind of a bullish day yesterday, but just was unable to push on through that level right there. Don't be too surprised once again if this has to continue that consolidation over here toward the trend before it goes but that is still holding up and looking quite well overall as a chart. We have so many charts right now um, showing really good positive signs um, in so many different places. It's hard to narrow down which charts you wanna trade. Take a look at Intel. Intel has been moving up nicely and, and just for disclosure, I am actually in this trade here on Intel. Intel breaking through that resistance where we're dealing with this resistance high here, but breaking through there, we had a nice little push up. Looks like this morning we might pull back just a little bit on that chart and it's not a big surprise as long as we stay in this area even pulling back into here i'm still okay with that um, as we continue to consolidate here but keep an eye on intel looking pretty good overall and could fire on higher um, so tons and tons of char charts that you could protect potentially choose from one of them that really surprised me how strong it moved here considering all the vaping uh, crisis and stuff out there is Altria Altria firing up moving through here I had um, alerted right way options members to this trade in here and a lot of folks made really good money on this trade and this, we're just climb, continuing to climb we had some volatility here for a couple of days but boy just continuing to climb up I would probably Probably suggest wait for the next rest or pullback into that trade if we can start holding some levels of support in this chart and then we'll see if we can reach out for some of these next resistance highs in here if we get that rest and maybe move on higher so keep an eye on our Altria um, really showing some strength um, retail Retail has been showing some tremendous strength. JWM uh, N had a ugly breakdown here on uh, their earnings, but look what's happened since. Um, they've just rallied back up really, really strong and showing lots of strength here in this move. Keep an eye on this chart as we move up going to ignore this little part right here as we move on up there may be an opportunity to pick up a trade here in some of these retail stocks looking really really good take a look at shop shopify um, big move yesterday now i wouldn't chase this move but this is a beautiful break of the downtrend and the first confirmation of trend right in here this happens to also be right there at that 50 day moving average breaking through that 50 holding it as support i would watch and wait for the next entry into this trade if this can give us a little bit of rest a little bit of pullback there may be that opportunity in this chart last but not least take a look at roku Roku had this, here's another one of those earnings reports where we really sink and it's absolutely rejected um, uh, and pushed right back up um, on that poor earnings report. But as you can see, we're running in this nice little trend to the upside and we had a little bit of a consolidation right through here where we consolidated that move and yesterday trying to pop on up and move higher. I suspect Roku is going to seek out these highs in this chart soon. So you might want to put Roku on your list. Keep an eye on that. Um, any rest or pullback could set up an opportunity for an entry into that trade. So with that, everyone, I want to wish you all a fantastic day of trading and I want to wish you um, a great Thanksgiving holiday. You know, one of the things that I always take the time to do on um, Thanksgiving and, and other holidays is I always want to remember uh, those folks in the military that, that are out there protecting us. They, they are on the job while we're sitting around the table with family, um, feasting away. They're out there on the job protecting us, keeping us safe. And also for those first responders, those firefighters, those police officers that are out there on the job, keeping us safe during this holiday season. Keep those folks in mind and I want to wish you all a fantastic holiday. Be safe. We'll see you right back here first thing Monday morning. 
Have a great holiday.